Hello all my beautiful Leos and welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to go over May 2021 readings. As usual, messages are general, so keep that in mind. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does resonate with you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, let's get a couple more shuffles in and get your reading going. Alright, what messages do you have for my Leos for May 2021? What messages do you have for my Leos May 2021? Leo May 2021, please. Thank you. One. For those of you who don't know, I do a nine card spread three for past, three for present, three for future. And then I always do an advice card at the end. Oh, I'm gonna mess that out. I don't read reversals unless energies tell me to. They'll always be in the upright, but I will uh, read reversal energies if my guides so tell me. Card for the Leo's May 2021, please. May 2021, please, for Leo's. God, my hands. There we go. Okay, so Leo's, what are we being stubborn about seeing here? Because with the Death card, Nine of Wands, and the Four of Cups, we're definitely uh, keeping in a cycle, not uh, seeing the answer or the solution that is uh, being presented to you with this Four of Cups here. I do see you getting what you want in the end. Um, with the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords, well, actually just all three of this, this just leads to you getting what you want. But however, I feel as though with the Seven of Swords, this is more of a uh, sneaky energy. Um, so basically, like, uh, you do whatever it takes to get it done, whether that is necessarily right in all aspects you know what I mean for everybody you know I, I feel as if some people are going to get hurt in the process with the seven of swords being present um <clears throat> what I'm seeing is You were, you were trying to, man you got whatever you were trying to manifest. With the Magician here, um, that's the Manifestation card, Death card being a cycle card, and uh, ending of cycles and new beginnings. But with the, the Six of Wands here, this is also Celebration or, and um, Reward. So I feel like it was short-lived. Like... Whatever you were trying to manifest, you got, but it was very short-lived because I feel like maybe it wasn't, um, uh, 
the 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 right thing at the right time like how do I put this um you got a version of what you were trying to manifest is what I'm saying you got a version of what you were trying to manifest so you were happy and you were celebrating but then as you took a step back and you really seen what this brought you it wasn't the full package if that makes sense um, so that's why now you're kind of stuck because you're like, well, wait a second. I thought that was it. That's what was supposed to, it, that's what it was supposed to be. Now, whether this is a person or a situation, uh, take it how it resonates, you know? So if this was a person, you know, you, the, the, a person you came into your life and you thought, Hey, this was the person. And now you're kind of sitting back and you're questioning, is this really, um, the person, if that is your situation, like I said, take it how it resonates. But, uh, what I'm seeing is you definitely manifested something that you were very happy about, but now in the present moment, you're not too sure because I, I, I'm, you know what? Let's get some clarifiers. Why is this nine of wands here for Leo's? Why is this nine of wands here for Leo? Thank you. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So maybe being greedy a little too much or maybe asking for too much. Um, okay. So maybe that, maybe that is, um, the situation at hand. You got exactly what you, um, wanted and manifested, but now you want more. And the universe is like, look, you're asking for too much. Uh, and it's kind of, it's putting you in this this nine of wands standpoint like uh why should i even go on if you know i'm not manifesting what i desire but basically with um this this four of pentacles clarifying the nine of wands um this is telling me that you're asking for too much all at once so just uh maybe cut back on what you're trying to ask for um, because the universe is trying to give you what you want, but you're just, I feel like you're just asking for too many things all at once. You know, he's got these three cups already and the universe is handing you another cup and it's like, well, how many more do I need to hand you right now before, you know, you do stuff on your own. But in the end, I'm seeing that you do get exactly what you want. The, the Ace of Cups is, you know, fulfillment in the emotional life. So if this is a person, I mean, you do get and find the person that you want. But I just, I feel like maybe there's a little bit of manipulation involved to get this person. If this is a relationship situation. Like I said, take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, Leos, May, I feel like you're just, just take a step back, take a breather and uh, appreciate what you have right now. Appreciate what the universe has already given you. Because you're just, it, I feel like you're just, you're asking uh, your guides in the universe for so much all at once that it's just like, whoa, pump your brakes. And you're kind of being a little stubborn about it or a little bit pouty with this Nine of Wands as well and this uh, Seven of Swords energy. Um, that it's not happening right, right now at this second, you know what I mean? Um, but let's go ahead and get your advice card. Uh, this month's advice card is from Spirit Animals. So whatever spirit animal you need to uh, connect with for this month and advice it has for you. I do encourage you after this reading to look more in depth into whatever spirit animal you get because different cultures have different meanings. And so based on your situation, uh, different messages could resonate differently with you. So, oh, well, look at that. Bat. All right. See through illusion into truth. So, yeah. Um, that kind of goes back to the Seven of Swords as well with that tricky, sneaky, uh, not completely honest energy. Um, make sure you're, you're watching, uh, 
the things you're doing, the actions you're taking, the the thoughts you're having, and make sure they're coming from a pure state um, and not a state of uh, manipulation or trying to get somebody or someone or something to do what you want for your benefit, even if it's not in their best interest, if that makes sense. So just be very wary of that. Um, just make sure you're seeing through illusion and into your own truth. Um, making sure you're not coming out of a biased perspective or whoever you're dealing with. Um, whatever the situation may be, just make sure you're coming at it through a clear uh, mental state with this Ace of Swords. Making sure that your mind is fully um, at a very uh, conscious and... very aware state of your actions and uh, your your thought space if that makes sense um but that is your messages for the month of may leo if that resonated uh be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always much love to each and every one of you Mwah.